Bees with Minecraft 1.15, adding bees into Minecraft. It is time to cover absolutely every detail about them. I've done bee videos in the past, but those have all been recorded in snapshot versions, so things changed, facts changed. This, no facts should change. So here we go, let's jump into bees. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and the first question you have to ask yourself is, how am I gonna find these bees? Especially if I am in survival and not sitting here in creative like I'm doing right now. If you're in survival and you wanna find bees, where do you start to look? And the answer is that there is three different biomes. One is the plains biome, which we're in right now. The second is Sunflower Plains, which we happen to have right here. And the third is Flower Forest, which we happen to have over here. And that's where I have set up all my stuff to talk about bees. Anytime a tree spawns, and this is only during world generation, there is a 5% chance that that tree will have a nest. The nest is the world generated version and the hive is the player created block. So. Here in the plains, you can see that there's not a lot of trees. Normally you actually get a lot of trees maybe on the edge of a border of the plains and another biome. Same thing with the sunflower plains. We happen to have two trees right here, but each of them only have a 5% chance of spawning that bee nest. So, the flower forest is by far the easiest place to find bees because it's a forest and it has an awful lot of trees, which gives you a lot more chances to spawn that nest. This is a completely vanilla nest. I didn't click here and add this nest under this tree, but this is the closest nest that I was able to find. So it's sitting right here. Right now, this nest is full of honey because I haven't touched it at all. And the bees that spawned in with this nest have been flying around and getting a whole bunch of pollen and nectar from these flowers. So let's talk about the different types of bee. I have them all sitting here with no AI on so they won't fly off. First is the baby bee. Super duper adorable. It does take a while for these guys to grow up. I believe it's a full game day. So from the moment that the sun rises all the way, I guess that's where the sun rises, from the sun rises all the way back to where it rises again. That is how long it takes a baby bee to grow up. You can speed up that process by feeding it flowers just from your hand and just kind of clicking that bee. Next is a normal adult bee. So you can see this is a pretty large bee, seven pixels, has a little stinger on the back, those wings flippity flap, and it has some antenna on the front. And I can't tell if those are blue eyes or just a blue reflection in the pixel art there. They also have some legs, so you got some legs there. And bees can sort of float in the air and then they can also land as well. Here is an angry bee. Oh my gosh, he is so angry that anytime I get close to him, he tries to do this barrel roll to sting me. They have red eyes. You can see that they are more in an angular position as if they are mad. And this guy still has a stinger as you can see. This bee is the only bee that is missing its stinger, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later, but this is what a bee looks like. Everything is exactly the same, except for that two pixel stinger. That's just like black. Best art ever when it comes to a stinger. Is missing because uh, it has used up that stinger. And finally, this is a pollinated bee. This one has nectar all over it. We're gonna get to that as well. Let's talk about bee behaviors. So we, I actually see a natural bee, there it is, it's floating around, it has some pollen and nectar all on it as well. When bees spawn into the world, he just entered into his nest, they'll exit the nest and then go exploring. And what they're looking for is some flowers to pollinate and they'll just wander around until they finally find a flower and then they'll sort of circle around it as they're circling around it then they will pollinate that flower and that is how you get that bee with all that pollen on its butt and you could you know think of it as it collecting nectar and actually pollinating the flower after it's done that, it will wander its way back to its nest or hive, and then it will enter into the nest or hive. If it has pollen, then 
It'll take two minutes. Anytime it enters a nester hive, it's two minutes for the bee to stay inside of it. But if it had pollen when it does that, after that two minutes when it pops out, the honey level inside of that hive or nest will increase by one. And it can do that five times until it hits a limit of five. And that's what you see right here with the honey sort of poking out of the side of the nest here. So let's talk about the different types of housing. This right here is a nest. This is what will naturally spawn in the world. And this right here is a beehive. The beehive is player made and here is the recipe for it. It requires six planks and three of the honeycomb. We're gonna get into honeycomb and honey in a moment. So you need honeycomb and planks, any type of planks to make the beehive. And how I remember, and I have a hard time remembering, the difference between a nest and a hive is to me, I think of it as a hive mind, almost like the Borg from Star Trek. A hive mind is more like artificial. The Borg is very machine made, so man made. So that is how I can remember that the hive, the beehive is man made and the bee nest is natural generation. Both of these home types for bees, so the hive and the nest, can hold at a maximum of three bees inside of it and a minimum of zero. There could be no bees inside. So you can have up to three bees. You can use your hand to break both of these, although the bee hive does take a little bit longer to break. And you can see that this nest here does not drop when you break it with your hand, but the bee hive does. So just another example. This is how long it takes to pull up the bee hives and then the nests are like almost instantly breaking when I use an actual ax. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, this bee is mad at me. Oh, I've made all of my little bee friends over here mad. Okay, well that happens if you happen to break a uh, that bee's nest or hive, they will be mad and uh, he will try to attack me. I, oh, you have a stinger too. I thought you were the one from before. If you break a bee hive or nest with bees inside of it, and there are three bees inside of this one, they will pop out all mad at you and try to attack. So now let's talk about actually harvesting the honey and honeycomb from these homes. If you have any of these that are full up on honey, you can use two different tools to collect the honey or honeycomb, depending on which one you want. If you want honey, you have to use a glass bottle and then just right click on the hive or nest in this case. And if you do that and the bees are around and they see you, they will be very, very mad that uh, you just did that to their house. But if you are smart about it and place a campfire underneath the hive or nest before you do that, then the bees will be totally fine. And there are three bees inside of there, so I just didn't do it while there weren't bees around. And then that's how you get honey, and same sort of situation with shears. So if you go over to a hive or nest, these guys are probably gonna get mad at me, and you shear it, oh good, no one was inside of there. Yeah, there was some inside of there. Oh my gosh, they're mad. That is how you get honeycomb. And so now I have eight honeycomb here. Uh, honey bottles can be consumed to uh, make your health better. And honeycomb can be used in crafting the beehives and in crafting honeycomb blocks. And so can the honey be used to make the honey blocks as well. We have a whole nother video about honeycomb and honey. So we're not going to cover that right now. Since all of these bees have been getting angry at me, and by the way, that uh, smoke trick does work if you are collecting honeycomb, not just honey. But since all of these bees seem to be attacking, let's talk a little bit about their attack behavior. You've probably already witnessed this in the video, but bees will attack as a group, similar to pigmen. So if one bee gets mad and there's other bees around it, they will all attack together as a swarm. Now, bees have different damage depending on what game difficulty you are playing on. I'm currently playing on easy, so every time you saw the bees attack me, that was the easy level here. So when you go up to normal, they will, when they, when they sting you, they will do a heart of damage, but they'll also poison you for 10 seconds. So that will end up doing three and a half hearts of damage. 
On hard mode, when they sting you, they will take away a heart and a half, and then they will poison you for 18 seconds, which will end up taking you down seven hearts if you don't do anything about it. A cool thing about the honey in a bottle is that if you drink that, it will actually remove poison. So if you just got honey from a hive or nest and they all attack you and you have poison and you're getting really, really low on hearts, you can actually consume your honey and that will get rid of the poison. Of course, if another bee stings you right after you took the honey, well then you'll be poisoned all over again. When bees get mad and attack, oh, I thought there was a, a bee in, in there. Oh, I have the smoke underneath. I'm so silly. I was trying to get them to attack me and I had, oh, you got any more? No, okay, we're just gonna go over here and punch this bee. Where do we see him? Here he is. Attack me! There we go. So once they attack you, they'll do this barrel roll thing. Wha-bam! And then they will lose their stinger. So his stinger is no longer on the back of the bee. And then they will die because that's what normally happens in real life. They kamikaze themselves and, and kill themselves because they, ouch, he hit me too. It will take between 50 to 60 seconds for the bees to die. And you'll just see them kind of hit the ground and just go and they'll puff into a little, little amount of smoke. And they don't drop anything. They don't drop any honey or nectar or anything or in even experience orbs. They don't drop those as well. I want to see this bee pass. So I'm trying to get rid of all these flowers. Holy moly, there's so many flowers. B, is it your time? Or B, the last thing he, he oh, there he goes. Oh, he, he just, he just ate it. And this B will go soon too. Where's your, your stingers gone as well? All he wants is some flowers. Oh, yeah, he's, he's coming to me because I have the flowers in my hand. Forgot about that. And rest in bee pieces. You may have noticed that the bees will follow me when I am holding a flower in my hand, just like sheep will follow if you have wheat or chickens will follow if you have seeds. So these bees will follow you around if you happen to be holding a flower. This is also how you get them to breed. So you just give them one flower each and then they love each other and they're gonna create little babies. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple just uh, to do that. And then we, then we got some baby bees uh, hanging out. We've covered all of the basics, so let's cover some of the fun facts. Bees can be led, so you can <laughs> grab them with a lead and move them around. And technically, bees are arthropods, so you can actually use bane of arthropods which is really hard to say, uh, which is normally reserved for spiders, but that will work on bees as well. You can see that critical hit, even though I am not doing anything, I'm not you know doing a jump or anything, but you can see those critical particles. That is because the bane of arthropods, which can be leveled up to level five, is killing these bees very effectively. Another fun fact is that if you have a hostile mob, like this skeleton here, and you have a whole bunch of bees, and the skeleton happens to attack a bee, they will all attack the hostile mob. So they'll attack any other mob that happened to hurt them as well. Ah, why me? I didn't do anything, no. Another fun fact is that creepers and bees have a similarity in that they are the only mobs that can attack only once because the, the bee will die once its stinger is gone and creeper will explode when it explodes. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about the bee, everything in this video should also work. I know I recorded it in Java, but this should all work in Bedrock Edition. So if you're playing on the Pocket Edition or console editions that are on the Bedrock code base, every fact that I mentioned should have complete parity with the new uh, game on Bedrock. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. I'll see you next time. Bye!